Madre infavita, corro a salvarte. Okay, hello everybody. Um, today or now, I would like to address um, Il Trovatore di Quella Pira. Okay, uh, another one of those uh, arias that, uh, woo, oh, there's a high C, oh my god, and, and we get all worried. Uh, I would like to go through two passages that people fear uh, the most. And those are the two passages with the high C. Uh, the first one, I, I just did it, and um, I'll go through um, both of them in depth. See you now. Okay, let's talk about the first one. Uh, at the, you know, beginning of the, of the area, actually, it's on the third page, more or less. Madre infelice, corro a salvarti, o te almeno. Okay. Now, necessarily, uh, we are going to have to cover that um, G in order to uh, go to that C. And once again, uh, as I explained in other videos, we have to think about this hourglass because we cannot stay really covered on that on that um, C. Okay, so it's. Okay, so we are opening again inside the cover. Yeah? There you go. Now, uh, how, how would I approach this? Same way as we did with La Donna Immobile. Uh, cover, open, or in the case of La Donna Immobile, maybe open and then hourglass and open again. But here, definitely cover. So a great exercise. One more, this is this jump. This jump, so we can go from C. And then. Okay. Uh, cover open. The last one is exactly the same because you go on a G. It's exactly the same principle. I cover the G and I open the C and I add an. Now, some, some people, uh, uh, when they uh, sing the, the last high C, they cut it on the, on the A uh, vowel, on the A, uh, okay? Alar, alarm. Uh, the word is alarmi. And uh, actually, uh, I, I remember the rendition uh, of uh, Franco Corelli of this aria. And uh, it was spectacular because he actually managed to place that I, that E sound, right? So if you can, actually, you don't have to move. If you go there and you're there, don't move. That's the trick. Anything with your mouth, if you get out of that place, you're doomed. 